So when you're picking the software, the, the, the idea would be that you would like to pick a software that's going to be able to grow with you if you're in a long term firm kind of setting. Why? Because the software will update uh, year over year. If you have more complex tax returns, that's more and more important because it's very useful to take the prior year's information and roll it over into the current year because if there's any rollover activities like a net operating loss or charitable contribution limits or that kind of stuff, then that stuff will be helpful to roll over. Depreciation schedules, <laughs> all that kind of stuff is really nice to not have to do the data input uh, again. So it's painful to go from software to software. If you're just doing really basic tax returns where you don't have that stuff going on, you're, you're not really doing even Schedule C's with that depreciation schedule stuff, then then uh, it might not be as bad if you had to move from one software to the other, although that initial move would still require a lot of data input to input the names and addresses. So if you're in a professional setting you, you, and you're choosing software, I would look into a software that you think is going to be a long lasting software in general, because moving uh, from one to another can be a painful process. With the individual software, like I say, it's in an in, it's in a it's in a a format that's going to be an interview type of format. If you can't get access to any other software, you might be able to get some access to this software to at least run some scenarios if you're practicing along with the practice problems. If that's the point of the software for you, just to follow along with the practice problems. And if you don't have access to any of the software, as we do the practice problems, you can simply open the forms from the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov. You won't be able to do the data input, but we're not really focused on the data input into LACERT in our practice problems. It's not a LACERT course. We're focused on the idea of the, the number that needs to be put, be put in place for income and deductions, and then the impact that that adjustment will have on the tax forms, the tax software, making it a lot easier for us to automate the jump between the scenario and the end result.